Greetings and good morning, magical friends. My name is Brittany Bryant and I am so grateful and excited that you're here. In this video, I'll be talking about how to create a morning routine. Now, morning routines can be super beneficial. They don't have to be in the morning, but there are a couple of reasons, two reasons actually, why um, having a routine in the morning is preferable. Uh, the first reason being that your morning routine should really just consist of a couple of priorities that you have. And doing your priorities where they belong towards the beginning of your day um, sets yourself up for success and basically ensures you always make forward progress towards your goals, which is great. That's the point of setting goals is to make progress towards them. And the second reason would be that you reinforce the idea of the person you're trying to become. And by that, I mean, if you're trying to become a more healthy person, whether that's being more mindful or, you know, getting your workouts in or, you know, eating well or like being a tea drinker or whatever it is that you're trying to do or become, by doing that in the morning, you have the entire day to reinforce the idea like, yes, I am a healthy person, I did work out this morning, or yes, I am becoming more mindful or intelligent because I meditated or journaled or read this morning. It's so much easier to believe in yourself that you can achieve your goals when you're doing things to support that. So doing that in the morning just kind of makes it a trend for you and you have all the more reason to keep up the trend during the day because you've already started off this, that morning. So my morning routine nowadays is super simple and I'm actually gonna take you along with me, kind of show you what I do, which is not exciting at all, but it gets the job done and I'll teach you how to create your own morning routine as well. So my morning routine is I basically come here and I sit down and meditate for five minutes and then I review my goals and um, kind of say my affirmations to myself. It's really just about reinforcing the idea of what I'm, what I'm aiming for. All right, so the first step to creating a morning routine is deciding on a time and place that you're going to do it. Now, it doesn't have to be in the morning like I mentioned, but it works a lot better in the morning. So aim to wake up 15 minutes earlier than normal. That's all you really need to get an effective workout or <laughs> an effective morning routine started. So just aim to wake up 15 minutes earlier than normal. Don't hit the snooze button, or if you do, set your alarm way earlier and just find a space to do it. If, you, if you'd like to do it in your bedroom, you're welcome to, or if you wanna get out and like guarantee you won't fall back asleep, just come out to the living room or wherever you have a space to do it. Time and location are really important triggers for creating habits, so I encourage you to kind of just nail those and figure those out. So once you've decided what things are important, you just pick a short action that you can do to reinforce that or to check that off your list. Meditation, reading, working out or stretching, um, eating breakfast, whatever it is, define that and then make that part of your morning. Just like when you wake up, you go to the bathroom or you brush your teeth or whatever, you're, you, or you already have a morning routine, just incorporate some extra productive habits in with that already. Now, step three is really just a, an overall application, but keep it simple and flexible. The most important part of your morning routine is that you do it. This is a habit that we're trying to build. This is a system of your day that we're trying to get started. And it's not going to happen if it's too complex or it's too hard or it's not doable at all. Just pick a short like three minute action or, or short action that you can do every morning. And it should also be flexible if you go on vacation or you wake up late, you should be able to still do this. For example, if you slept in late and you had to go to work, you could still do these actions at night. They should be flexible and adaptable and above all doable no matter what. It doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a morning routine. I hope it gave you some inspiration and some actionable tips to get you started. Let me know if you applied any of these tips below and I will see you in the next video. And as always, I want to wish you a happier, healthier, and more magical day. Bye-bye.